Hey guys, welcome to I'm Adam Kovic. And I'm James Willems. And do you think your computer is pretty fast? No, it's quite slow. It's true, actually. Maybe you're actually real impressed with your phone at the moment. That is Indeed. also pretty slow. It can pull up Snapchat fast and drain your battery. I didn't ever download a Snapchat. I am not a member of that service program. Well, congratulations. Everything you own is a piece of shit officially as of today. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, Google posted results of an experiment yesterday on their research blog showing that their quantum supercomputer can compute results up to 100 million times faster than your shitty ass PC. But can it run Dragon's Lair? Dragon's Lair. Absolutely not. Uh, that basically right there is a quantum mic drop as we're calling it, right Lawrence? Yeah, well that means that you've both dropped the mic and haven't dropped it and it's kind of hovering in the air at the same time. Mm -hmm. uh, the reality of it isn't quite so simple. It's not like they have a magical computer box that will allow you to experience internet porn in the fifth dimension. Yeah. Man, Whoa! we got yeah quantum porn. It's coming. Well, actually, you know what? That could be true in a few years. Well, we'll get to that in a second. Regardless, though, what the hell is quantum computing anyway, and how will it help me watch pornography? Well, uh, that takes some imagination of the fifth dimension. All right, I'm gonna imagine right now. Go ahead, you do that, I'll take this away. Quantum computers are fundamentally different from traditional computers. To explain why, we gotta get down into the bits. Lawrence, you're smarter than me, you take it away. Okay, uh, traditional computers operate on binary bits, so the entire system is constructed from a series of switches that either on or off. It's binary, you know, one or zero. Uh, you combine uh, those ones or zeros into strings of words that then get combined into larger data clumps that eventually produce an image of a naked woman or man, depending yeah. on which website you're going to. Technology is wonderful, you're, you're absolutely right. Uh, quantum computers are a bit different though. Each quantum bit, or qubit, as they call it, which kind of sounds like an 80s sitcom, uh, can exist in more than just two states, so it's more than on or off. Uh, they have on and off, so they have those two, and then several superpositions of those two states. But what's a superposition? <laughs> I'll show you. Well, uh, that's a principle of quantum mechanics, and then it starts to get really weird because it's not our perceivable reality anymore. We live in what's called like a deterministic reality, so everything is pretty much defined. Either I'm holding this cup or I'm not. Uh, when it comes to quantum stuff, it's different. So, a superposition is the idea that two states can overlap and produce a new quantum state that is independent and valid. So you can not be watching porn and watching porn at the same time, and that's different than either of those two states that you could be in. So it's so, like when I'm um, playing uh, Here's the Storm at work, I'm working and not working at the same time? No, that's just not working. I want to uh, hear James's really joke. Working. Mine was going to be, it's like when you're doing missionary and then she says, can we try something else? And you're like, I don't know what you're talking about. I both like and don't like both those jokes at the same time. That's quantum. That's quantum we something. Oh, Physics? Solid. Quantum semantics. humor. Quantum J semantics. J oh, we J are the wrong people to be doing this Yeah, story. James Bond got <laughs> sad in the second one. Uh, so when it comes to quantum computers, the idea is that a qubit can be zero, it can be one, or it can be a variety of combinations of zero and one. Yeah. You put in the mind blown gif. There it is. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but now let's bring it back to whatever we were talking about before. Everything got really confusing and yeah. scary. Mm -hmm. Google's quantum AI team formed in May 2013 in a partnership with NASA and using D Wave Systems Quantum Computer finally have a proof of principle concept data to show that quantum computing may be the future when it comes to analyzing optimization problems. Specifically, the results come from a test comparing an optimization problem with 1,000 binary variables between the quantum computer and a single core traditional computer. Mm -hmm. As we said before, Google found that the annealing time between the two separated by a factor of up to 100 million. Whoa! I feel smart just from hearing this information. Take your glasses back. Well, hot damn, that is some fascinating analing. Yep. Annealing. I'm gonna look that up later on next videos. But as we said before, we've got some time before you can experience transmissional shemale porn. Oh God, Lawrence. She's uh, a amazing. woman and a man at the same time. First of all, to start, these results haven't been peer reviewed. Official scientific findings typically go through peer review process mm. before publication in official journals. Only then does it become real science. Real, yeah. And second, even if these findings pass scrutiny by the scientific community, it's still a false our cry from a practical application, right Lawrence? Yeah, quantum computers have yet to be proven to work efficiently in any real world setting, so these results are a big deal provided that they're actually, you know, real and hold up to scrutiny, but uh, you know, advancement has done a baby steps and this mm -hmm. is basically the first one we've seen when it comes to quantum computing. Mm -hmm. Well the question is, what's the end game here? Well, other than self-aware porn that you can't even imagine? It's right. beyond our time and space. It can exist and it cannot exist. I love it. Uh, but the consensus is that quantum computing could eventually lead to real AI, otherwise known as artificial intelligence. How does it lead to artificial intelligence if our intelligence can't even comprehend that level of thinking? 
We have it, to build it. It's gonna, not artificial intelligence, true intelligence. We're gonna be the artificial ones. It's over for us, humanity's done. Thanks, Google. These are like cave paintings but to them. But without getting into a debate about determinism and free will, computers don't really act like human minds. They can only do what they're told. They're finite state machines. Yeah, humans on the other hand are infinitely more complex. We can process complicated problems quickly using thought processes much more nuanced than cold math or sequential if-then decision making. The theory is that if we can really figure out quantum computing and program rules that can be governed by multiple states simultaneously, we can start to develop thinking programs. Then we'll finally Finally, get those sex bots we've always Doesn't wanted. Doesn't that just mean the sex bots will be smart enough to say no thank you? I'm not interested in having sex They can sex say tonight. no I guess at the same time. I think they're mostly gonna say no. Just like a real woman. The sex bot has a headache. It's gonna manipulate you to get I out of here. wants to cuddle. I have work in the morning. What an amazing time to be alive, huh? Lawrence, we're gonna name your digital waifu. Oh, well, she doesn't get a name. No, she can pick her own name. No. There's power in names. I don't want her to have one. Just imagine Lawrence. He's like, I'm one of you, and they leave him behind when yeah. they fly away. <laughs> they just rip thing. my arms off. <laughs> no, you aren't. And then they march off, killing everybody. Anyway, go make thanks, sure. Google. Yeah, thanks. We love you. You know what's unfortunate? Trying to support artists, but then still just having interfaces that are just like so far behind. Yeah. Like, like we wanted to watch Scream Queens last night, and we like. Like, it just wasn't up on Hulu, and it's like, it's the finale right now. Like, people are literally tweeting about it right now, and we can't watch it right now. And we are paying for it. We're paying out for a service that allows us to do so. Are uh, you oh, recording? Well. These are very much first-person problems. It's tough to be us.